be watching the program, the Qantas Speedway National Championship for 1994 at Crackfield engaged in heat number four now coming your way. Lee Adams in the red helmet colour, back-to-back national champion. The Queenslander Tony Langdon in white, Troy Butler, his fellow Queenslander in blue, and Corey Alderton in yellow. Away we go now. A pretty good even start, but it's Lee Adams, the Mildura flyer over on the inside in the red helmet. He got a blinding start. Look at the action for the minor placings. The boys are really turning it on. It's young Corey Alderton that's got the best of it at the moment. Now storming through in the third spot on the circuit is Troy Butler, six times Queensland champion, one of the finest riders to throw his leg over a motorcycle in this country for the last eight years or so. They've all got a bunch of work to do though, because it's Lightning Lee Adams. He's a long way in front. You can see the gap there. This guy is all class. He was the winner of the World Under 21 Solo Championship in 1992. He qualified for the World Final at Pocking in Germany last year, and clearly he is our next big chance for World Individual Speedway Champion. Lee Adams now, one lap to run at the Mildura venue. He really is keeping it together. That's him on screen. Lee Adams back straight away now, and he has put a huge gap in the rest of the field. Lee Adams off the top corner for the final time, and nothing's going to beat him in this one. Adams down and takes the checkered flag. Yes, David, Alderton second and Langdon third, but David, look at the race time, 59.24 seconds, a magnificent performance by Lee Adams, eclipsing the previous mark of 59.61, held by Jason Lyons, an absolutely magnificent performance by Lee Adams. Yeah, beautiful ride, track here, absolutely perfect, congratulations to the Mildura Motorcycle Club, who have turned on a great show so far. Of course, Lee Adams doing it in, in sizzling style there. Next event, heat number eight, sees Craig Boyce in the blue helmet colour. Shane Parker in red, Tony Rose in white, and Tony Langdon returns in yellow. Langdon on the extreme outside, four laps the journey. Craig Boyce will be very much looking to make amends here, dropping a point in his first heat when he was defeated by Stephen Davies, one of the pre-race favourites. Qantas tapes up in the air, they fly racing now, and Craig Boyce got a great start. That's him running up high on the racetrack in the blue helmet. Look at Shane Parker lifting up the front wheel. And he went by on the inside of Craig Boyce quicker than Boyce could have ever imagined. Now he's got a lot of work to do. The Moorbank rider from Sydney, Craig Boyce. A great strap here, Shane Parker, the South Aussie. He has the lead. There goes Boyce now, down on the inside line, looking very determined. He's got the teeth gritted. He's got the race face on Craig Boyce. Main straightaway one more time. Shane Parker elects to run up on the high line. And this is really a racing two. It's the Queenslander Tony Langdon back in third. But Craig Boyce, the race leader, looking for three very valuable points here in the 1994 National Championship. Parker skating up high on the circuit. This one's not over yet, let me tell you. Yellow flag on display. This guy, Shane Parker, is a courageous and talented rider. He chases Craig Boyce down the back section for the final time. Boyce has the upper hand. Here comes Shane Parker now winding it up. But the checkered flag is out and Boyce he got there. Oh, and what a great performance by Shane Parker picking up two points points there. Tony Langdon coming in third. A good win going out to Craig Boyce. Rides for the Pool Pirates in the British League competition. And as you said previously, a former national champion and obviously a three times winner of the New South Wales title. A crack rider Craig Boyce. He'll be there tonight when it matters, I can assure you. Heat number 13 now coming your way. Stephen Davies in red. Tony Rose in blue. Troy Butler is in the white helmet colour. And of course the other rider, Mick Poole. Oh, Stephen Davies! A giant mono wheel off the starting tapes. Ends up on his backside. In the meantime, the other trio sort themselves out. And the race leader is Troy Butler from Queensland, negotiating the top couple of corners. Stephen Davies is still on the side of the racetrack. I'm a little surprised and concerned that the race is continuing, but hopefully he will be OK. Troy Butler showing the style that's won him six Queensland state titles. Mick Poole now, the former New South Wales champion, is starting to hound him down on the inside. And forget about the other rider, he can't win this one. Race leader Troy Butler up the main straightaway. Look at Mick Poole now, searching down on the inside line. And there he goes, Mick Poole. They are side by side, these two. Oh, Butler makes a mistake, runs up high on the circuit. Loses control. Mick Poole says, thanks very much, Troy. I'll take it off you. And he goes down on the inside with just one lap to run now. And they won't catch Mick Poole. It's been a very aggressive ride by Mick Poole. Negotiates the top couple of corners. Troy Butler still in second, followed by Tony Rose. But Poole gets down to the line and takes the checker. Yes, in 1986, national champion Troy Butler second and Tony Rose coming in third. Certainly bad luck there for Stephen Davies. Injured last year in the Australian Solo Championship. On Castrol Speed Machine, you're watching highlights of the 1994 500cc National Speedway Championship. A great night here at Olympic Park Speedway in Mildura. 
weather conditions perfect and the boys have been turning on some sensational speedway action. These machines are 500cc capacity, single cylinder, single overhead cam. Jason Crump in the red helmet colour will start from the inside in the red helmet. And watch on the outside for Lee Adams in the yellow black. Racing now, and it's a young fellow, the young second generation star Jason Crump who leads going down the back section first time round. Magnificent riding there by Lee Adams on the entry to the corner. The front wheel lifted, he got it back under control and went into a beautifully controlled slide. Shane Parker in the white helmet is running third. But Jason Crump, the 18-year-old, has got it over Lee Adams at the moment. This just might be a boil over coming up at Mildura. Crump leads onto the main straight one more time. Lee Adams is looking down on the inside line and there goes Adams down on the inside. A beautiful inside pass. He takes Jason Crump, but Crump comes back on the inside again. They're side by side, elbow to elbow. Crump could just about jump on Lee Adams' machine. They're running that close together. Yellow flag on display now. You won't see better speedway than that. Lee Adams, one lap to negotiate. Crump hasn't given up. He fights him down the back section, but Lee Adams beautifully in control. Off the top corners, it's been a great motor race. Adams comes down and takes it, and he's happy about it. Oh, but David, what a fabulous ride from Jason Crump picking up second placing and Shane Parker third. Jason Crump almost unbeatable riding for Swindon last year in England and a magnificent performance there by Jason Crump. There's the situation Dennis after 16 beats Lee Adams, 4 wins from 4 starts on 12, Craig Boyce on 11, this is a crunch heat, now coming your way heat number 17, Lee Adams in the white helmet colour, Craig Boyce in blue, Mark Lemon in yellow and obviously Mick Poole in red. Watch them here the boys, Mark Lemon has written superbly, he's a potential qualifier as well for the Commonwealth final. Behind the corner starting tapes. Away they go now. Who was the best to begin? Oh, Lee Adams from the outside. He crossed a brilliant start by him. It looks as though Craig Boyce has missed the start. Boyce is going to need to be a little desperate here. He can't afford to drop another point. Lee Adams, race leader. Look at Mark Lemon. That's him up running second. Boyce now storming down on the inside. And Boyce has got to try and find a way by on the inside of Lemon. Here he comes now, Boyce. Oh, they're tangled up. Lemon up and over the fence on the full. A nasty crash here at Mildura. Craig Boyce has also gone hurtling over the handlebars. Let's look for the Castrol replay. Sincerely hope that Mark Lemon is okay. A very nasty one. They ran out of racing room. I don't think it was anybody's fault. They just got together on the racetrack. Look at Mark Lemon slugging the light pole on the outside of the track. There's Craig Boyce on the inside line. I don't think you can blame Boyce. I don't really think you can blame Lemon. Just one of those racing incidents. This is the national title. They're both keen to do well. And you're looking at Mark Lemon, who's sick, sore and sorry. And let's sincerely hope that he's okay. Craig Boyce has landed about 40 metres on the full past the scene of the accident. And there seems to be concern, some concern about Craig Boyce's leg. Now, we're just coming through to the commentary box that Craig Boyce has been excluded by the referee. Well, I'm not so sure about that one. We'll wait and see exactly what happens. But Craig Boyce has been excluded. There's the referee, and you can see that Craig Boyce is not a happy man. It looked as though Lemon may have come down track slightly, but let's go trackside now. Dennis Newlands with Craig Boyce. Thanks, David. A dramatic heat 17. You've been excluded, but you, sh you feel you should be in the rerun. What exactly happened in that heat? I just come underneath Mark Lemon coming out of the second corner and he could hear me coming and he turned left on me and I had no option, it, it, it just he turned left, I had nowhere to go and we got tangled up and we both crashed and I think it's an unfair decision. Well this is a dramatic heat, places available to the Commonwealth final and you and Lee Adams going for victory in the Australian Solo Championship. Well that's correct you know but we'll have to, have to wait and see what the referee's going to decide and if I've got to, you know, if the referee's seen it the way that I think most people would have seen. I don't think I should be excluded, and I think if I am, it'd be wrongly ruled. Thanks, Craig. Well, Craig Boyce, understandably a shattered man, but looking at his point scenario, it looks very much as though he will still qualify for the Commonwealth final. That incident could have cost him a certain second place in the national championship. Now the rerun of that heat with just Lee Adams and Mick Poole to do battle. As you can see, Lee Adams has got a very comfortable start. Mick Poole in second. And I think you're going to find that's about the way they'll finish in this one. They'll both go through the motions. A very valuable three points for Lee Adams and Dennis Newland. Should he win this one, that makes it a 15-point maximum. And effectively, he will sew up his third consecutive national crown. Yes, absolutely correct, David. Of course, interesting to note, too, that this will be the first Australian title that he's actually won with a 15-point maximum. His other, other victories came by a 14-point score. And Lee Adams, of course, rides for Arena Essex in First Division British League, had a magnificent season. Six 
successful last year in the Commonwealth final and heading to a place once again in the Commonwealth final, the progressional round of the World Speedway Championship. All right, yellow flag now on display. Lee Adams is just one lap away from his third consecutive national championship. He knows it. He's throwing wheel stands down the back section. He's celebrating with jubilation down to the checkered flag. Congratulations, Lee Adam. You are a class act. Oh yeah, welcome back to Mildura's Olympic Park Speedway. The 1994 national champion is Lee Adams with a 15 point maximum. But the battle for the minor placings is still on in earnest. Jason Crump in red is the one to watch here. If he can win this, this particular heat, he'll force a runoff tied on points with Craig Boyce on 11. Watch the clutches fly. Away they go now. It's Jason Crump over on the inside line. He's going to rise to the occasion here. He takes the race lead. That's the Queenslander Tony Langdon in yellow moving through into second spot. Langdon, without question, the most improved speedway rider in the nation. He uh, contests the British League in Division 2 for Oxford, and he's doing a nice job here chasing Jason Crump. Stephen Davies, who was involved in that big crash earlier, is running in third spot, and good to see him quite OK. Jason Crump, though, plenty of pressure here. He's being heralded by Tony Langdon, the Queenslander, negotiating the Olympic Park Speedway venue. Race leader is Crump only by a couple of metres. There goes Langdon now around the outside. Langdon has a peek over the left shoulder to see where Stephen Davies is. He's not going to be a real threat in this one. Jason Crump now, main straight away one more time. The yellow flag on display and the 18-year-old sensation is doing a fabulous job as he negotiates the venue. Jason Crump only now half a lap to run. Langdon's dropped off the pace momentarily. Jason Crump's in no danger and he will rock it through up the main section. Checkered flag on display. A big wheel stand by Jason Crump and the victor. And a good performance also too, David, by Tony Langdon picking up two points and Stephen Davies third. But a magnificent ride by Jason Crump taking him now to 11 points, a magnificent performance. In a race time of 61.81, he's delighted young Jason Crump, good on your Crumpy, nice young guy, a real professional, son of former four times national champion Phil Crump. He will now transfer to the Commonwealth final, Jason Crump, assured of a top four spot. Heat number 19, Jason Lyons, the one to watch here in the red helmet. He has 10 points. If he wins this one, he will finish second in the championship behind Lee Adams. Racing now, and it's Jason Lyons that gets the jump. He's a class rider. Lyons back straight away. Already enjoys a fairly handy lead. A good scrap for the minor placings, including Tony Rose. The Queenslander doing a nice job. Corey Alderton moving up on the inside of him now. They're side by side. Alderton in the white helmet gets the upper hand. He moves through to second spot and can set his sights on the territory of the race leader, Jason Lyons. Lyons looking to finish second in the national championship is all class at the moment and I feel barring mechanical failure he's in no danger of defeat. Corey Alderton, the talented young racer, is in second spot. He's consolidated that situation and third and best of the rest is Tony Rose. Negotiating the circuit here at Olympic Park in Mildura is Jason Lyons doing a sensational job in fact. Yellow flag on display, there's one lap to run. Corey Alderton still in second spot, he's giving it his best shot but Jason Lyons, he is poetry in motion very quick on his home track. He comes off the top corners for the final time. He'll take the checkered flag and second in the national championship. And David, what a magnificent performance by Corey Alderman riding in his first senior Australian championship, picking up a second placing there and coming in third was Tony Rose. But there's the race winner, Jason Lyons, 13 points and second outright in the Australian solo kick. Lee Adams for the third consecutive year being hoisted into the air. Here's the winner of the 1994 national title. Well, Lee, congratulations. A great night. Third national title on the trot, plus the uh, transfer spot to the Commonwealth final. Yeah, that's right, David. It's fantastic. Um, third one in a row, and uh, obviously in front of my home supporters, it's fantastic. But uh, biggest thing, qualifying the, for the Commonwealth final, it's fantastic. In terms of the home crowd advantage, did it really help you that much? Um, it probably spurred me on. You know, I was very, very determined. Um, but obviously, wherever I would have, would have, wherever it would have been, I would have been, you know, as, a, as determined. But, uh, you know, it's something special. It's been a great event. Hope you've enjoyed the highlights from Mildura. There's the top four place getters. Lee Adams, a perfect score, 15. Lyon second. Jason Crump defeating Craig Boyce in the runoff. On behalf of the entire Speed Machine crew, goodbye from Mildura.